my dear friends, welcome back to my channel, Free Dark Y East Mix West Rangman Y series. Have you ever faced the moment when a life forced you to leave everything behind and start new? I'd like to share with you my own experiences. As I mentioned in my episode 5 of my memoir when I was about 6 years old, the financial strain forced us to move out. My family was split into two different living places. My mama and I moved to her school's dormitory while my younger sister moved to my father's dormitory at his school. Our family was suddenly divided, living apart. Now let's continue with our today's episode. When I was 11 years old, everything changed. My papa who provided a simple apartment for our family. Our family was overjoyed. At last, we could be together to make one move. The sense of reunion was overwhelming, as you can imagine. Our new apartment was a modest room about 50 square meters. We had to share the kitchen and the toilet with our two neighbor families. The kitchen was uh, only very small and empty room. So my parents bought a portable coal stove for daily cooking. Who was responsible to light the stove? So every day I carry the stove on the street to light, to avoid the initial smoke during the igniting in the kitchen. I struggled to light the stove with a wasted newspaper, firewood, and coal. It was often choked by the heavy smoke while fanning the stove. The lighting of the stove usually involved the following procedures like initial ignition, maintaining the stability of the fire, management of the heat, safety concerns, and ensuring proper ventilation. As fanning, the whole process required not only skills, but more about resilience, cautious, and patience. The task was even tough and difficult for an adult. While the carrying of the stove, the lighted one, I mean, from the street, to the kitchen highlighted another kind of daily challenge for cooking in that era for me. I was cooking our everyday meals for my younger sister and my parents on this stove every day. It was indeed a demanding task because I was just a kid at that time, around 11 years old. However, I learned through this type of work resilience. Well, our, the excitement of our family's togetherness was better sweet. My parents, as usual, were fully occupied at their schools. I deeply missed my best friends and my schoolmates. The loneliness and the sadness crept in as I yawned for companionship I had lost. My friends, have you ever felt overwhelmingly sad and lonely? I had. Every day, I would walk hours to the direction of my old school, hoping to see my friends. Sometimes, I would wait at the big crossroad, walking to the direction of my old school, wishing to see some familiar faces. But the distance between our new apartment and my old school was too far. My hopes often faded away into the long, lonely walk back home. My friends, would I be able to survive? Stay with me. In our next episode, I will share with you how I cope 
with this new environment and the difficult time in my new school. Thank you very much for watching. See you. I'm looking forward to seeing you.